So this is the final video in how to build a scene similar to Bloodborne or Dark Souls using assets from GameDevHQ.com and Unity 2018.3. Hi everyone, this is Al over at GameDevHQ.com. Please like and subscribe to support this channel and also check us out at GameDevHQ.com. So this is a scene that we created inspired by a Bloodborne kind of world using assets in Filebase on GameDevHQ.com and using the basic version of Unity 2018.3 which you can download for free. This video will go over fog, character placement, and we'll talk a little bit about Filebase. Let's start by pressing play. Now, I like to make sure that my screen changes completely when I press play. Now, if you don't know how to change the color, all you have to do is go to your preferences and inside of preferences, there's a play mode tint and you just change the color right there. I can't tell you the number of times where I've pressed play and then I do an edit or change and something doesn't follow. Uh, one of the first things I think we're going to notice in our scene is, woof, look at that wind. It is just flying everywhere, and we're going to want to fix that. So we go on over to terrain. Right over here, there's a wind settings for grass tab right here. Um, it's probably best to do this in real time, but you really want to bring this down. So let's say the grass is going to be 0.1. And this is point two. Point one. You know, you just want enough for the grass to kind of wiggle a little bit, but you don't want it to be too much. So for our instance, we're gonna do well, point four, point one, point one. Now when you press this button. Uh, oh, look at that. It saves now, so you don't have to readjust that, which is, is kind of nice. Um, another thing I'm going to do is I got some of these like bushes just kind of sitting in the middle of our scene. I'm going to make sure I go back in and um, go ahead and delete that stuff. And there we go. Uh, now that we got that kind of pathway cleared out, all I'm going to do is go ahead and drag in my knight. I want to see how he looks in the scene. So inside of Filebase, we have a 3D knight and we have a prefab. So I can drop my knight into my scene. And um, I'm going to press F. And there he is. He's really tiny right there. Um, if you go to Gizmos and turn on a selection outline, um, you can kind of see him in scene right there and I'm going to go ahead and use the ERT keys to kind of bring him up into my shot and I'm going to increase his size and I'm going to bring him close to the door and I want to see where his feet start entering into the floor and then just bring him back into the door and see how he looks. And I think that's about the right size that I want him to be. And then I'm going to just bring him into this shot. He's more just for compositing sake. You know, he'll bring the entire environment into uh, to life. And if you click on the Guard Knight and you go to your animation tabs, you know, you can kind of see all the animations that he has. So he currently has like a death animation, but if you want to see the hit animation, that's what he looks like when he gets punched. Um, here's his jump shot. And, you know, here's his two attack swings. So he's got the swing that kind of does that, which is pretty sweet. That looks pretty painful. And then he's got another horizontal swing where he slices you. And basically he's going to rip your torso from your body. So he looks pretty awesome right there. And uh, I think in the timeline in my animation window, which is right up here, um, I think what I may end up doing is having him go to, instead of an idle, uh, let's make him do the melee horizontal and just have him loop on that. So I can set this as my default. And so when I play, uh, 
he's just going to be doing that one swing over and over again, which is kind of dramatic. Oh, and the reason why he didn't do it over again is because we have set these animations to not be loopable. So in here, I'm going to select my melee horizontal and just change the loop time, uh, change the checkbox to loop time. So now he'll just keep swinging over and over and over again. So one swing right there, and then I'll do another swing, etc., etc. And now I also want to add in some more environment. Let's get some VFX particles in here. And in this one, I'm going to do a fog, which we have on Filebase as well. So all you have to do is grab our fog prefab and drop it into scene. And currently it's at um, this odd position right here. So I'm going to set these to zero. And I'm also going to go to my gizmos and I'm going to turn off select wire. Um, that way I don't see that giant orange thing all around. And I want to bring the fog around, eh, let's say right here. And look at that. Just by dropping that into scene, wow, the atmosphere is just incredible. Look, look at that. That is so amazingly cool. And this is based off of a sprite sheet. Um, and I'm going to turn on pre-warm. So if I stop and then hit play, instead of fog slowly rising out of the ground, it automatically starts. And then what I also can do is maybe increase the speed slightly. So right now the start speed is from 0.5 to 0.1. You know, what we can do is, actually the speed's good, it's the lifetime. So let's do between 10 and 15. So now our, our, um, our fog lives a little longer in scene. And check that out. Just a couple little clicks and we got something quite fantastic right here. And then I'm gonna go back to my main camera and press Command Shift F, which will move my camera right to this position. So then when I go to game view, I can see it through here. And when I press play, um, you know, we look like we have something pretty fantastic right here. So I think that's pretty much it right here. I mean, we have everything laid out in our scene. This is very Dark Souls-ish. Uh, if we wanted to add more fog sections, we can easily drop that in. We add more areas in this scene. Uh, in fact, I almost leave it to you guys to start building out the rest of the level. We will attach this entire scene into Filebase. So if you guys want a reference or you want to just download this and start building your game off of this current level design, you are more than welcome to. Now, we keep talking about Filebase, but what exactly is it? This is plug time for us. This is Game Dev HQ. What do we offer? We offer developmental courses on how to build a video game, how to do Cinemachine, how to build an app, like a, uh, a side-scrolling Castlevania-ish, Metroidvania-ish type of video game on your mobile device, how to build augmented reality, how to do 3D character art design. This is Game Dev HQ, and we have this little tab here called Filebase. Now, if you are a member and you subscribe for the plus features, you get a monthly loot crate. What is in the loot crate? We don't know. We decide like two days before advance. But last month, our loot crate was ray casting scene, what you saw in John's tutorial. You got a Gatling gun, pile of sacks, pillars, stones, bricks, sparks, etc., etc. That's the stuff that was needed to actually build that entire scene. Now, if you become a pro member, then you get access to check this out. All of these courses can be streamed directly. You don't have to pay for any of these courses individually. They're all streamed. On top of that, you get access to our entire file base. Let me emphasize, this file base was built by myself and a couple other graphic designers. Everything in this file base was built by hand. We didn't take anything else, anyone else's stuff and upload this. This is all unique art. And as a pro member, you have the right to use any of these assets in your commercial games. 
The only restrictions that we have is please don't take our assets and put them up on another store. We do not want to see these things up for sale on any type of you know 3D distribution store. Um, we spent a lot of money and put a lot of time and effort into growing this store. Now, not only is this currently what it is at 81 3D assets, but every week we add in more assets into Filebase and the library keeps getting bigger and bigger and grows larger and larger. So where can you go to get over a hundred different types of assets, 2D, 3D, audio, and all these courses at a phenomenal price, gained up HQ, and how much does this cost? $100 a month, $150 a month? No, it costs $15 per month to get everything in our site. And if you don't like it after a month, cancel. We understand that. We will not hold it against you. But uh, we know that we're putting together some really awesome content to really help you guys build video games fast. And I hope this level design series shows you how quickly you can build an entire level using just a couple of assets and some of the things that are already in Unity. For a grand whopping total, check that out, of $15. Of $15, we built this entire scene and we barely scratched the surface of all the things that are in file base. So, this is Al. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial series. I know this particular tutorial may have felt more like a plug for our file base and for our services, but you know, the more and more John and I look at it, the more and more we realize, man, we offer an amazing deal, an amazing bundle here, and we really want you guys to start building your your video games, and we're super excited about that. And if we can help you along the quest of becoming a full-fledged game developer using our assets at Game Dev HQ, we are going to be super excited about it. We'll be out with another tutorial next week, um, but thanks again for checking this out, and I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, thank you to all the Plus and Pro members out there. Your support makes this channel possible, and we couldn't do this without you. Thank you again. This is Al. I'm done with this one. We'll start another one next week. I'm out of here. Take care. See you later.